Yo, how's it going guys? Rebel here coming at you guys with a brand new video of FIFA 24 and today I wanted to talk about just literally just gameplay. I want to talk about gameplay. I haven't uploaded in a while and I just want to sit down and talk. I want to bring these videos back where I'm just talking about the game and what I think. Every single day maybe new content comes out. I'm just going to record. If you guys like it, watch the whole thing. Um, leave a like, let me know if you do like this. But as you guys see by the title, I'm just going to talk about it, man, because look, this FIFA, I've, I've played, I don't know how many games I've played. How do I even check? Stadium, 175, 15. So I've played around almost 300 games, right? More than 300 games. A little over 300 games, right? In those 300 games, I feel like every single game that I've played, or for the most part, the more competitive ones, like Rivals and Champions, maybe even Draft, I feel like those games are have been the most competitive games that I've ever played in any FIFA. Uh, Cause I, I I was watching videos from like Run the Foot Market yesterday, and he was playing FIFA 19. And although that game was super like, that game was super like it was meta, right? Because you had to have like tall players with good crossing and good heading, because that's all that game was. And first time shots, all that stuff. But the first time shots, you really didn't ha need to have any like play styles that we have now. You just had to have like okay shooting, and you'd bang those. You had to time it, and you'd be good. And I was watching that. I'm like, that was an arcadey kind of style of game that was really fun. Even in games that, you know, sometimes you would lose, it would be really fun. You weren't always locked in, sweating, hoping that you didn't make a mistake. This game, man, I feel like every single game that I've played, it has been, I have to lock in or I'm going to concede a goal and I'm not going to be able to come back. Now, let me go ahead and tell you guys why I think that this is the most meta FIFA of all time, as you guys can see by the title. I do believe that this game right here is just you got to have the right play styles and right players or you're going to lose. Like that's basically it. I know that you could say that for most FIFAs. I sound kind of dumb, but no, that's not true because in past FIFAs, I could build a whole like Mexican team, right? With Chicharito, Lozano, you know, Guardado, Ochoa, all that stuff, right? build a mexican team and i could still scuff out some wins in rivals if i bring that team into rivals now i'm gonna get 5-0 and i'm probably gonna rage quit because i think the fact that they added these play styles they're really good i mean they're they're kind of crazy op they're fun i like finesse shots like this son right here for example i've played 18 games with him some of that has been in the foot champions 10 of those has been have been in the foot champions qualifiers the other eight have been in division four of rivals He's had 37 goals and six assists. He's got 43 goal involvements in 18 games. Now, this card, obviously, it's not a cheap card. It's 1 million coins. As you guys saw by my last video, I crafted this for free. Um, I literally did it for free. But this thing right here, these play styles, if, you if any card has a plus, they're just broken. This finesse shot plus thing is insane. Now, I'm not really complaining about this. It's the fact that if you don't have it, you're gonna lose. If you don't have it, you're you're at a you're at a disadvantage already. That's why when I say that this FIFA is the most meta FIFA ever, you're at a disadvantage. If you don't have at least one player that has this finesse shot plus in your team, you're at a disadvantage. You're at a disadvantage because you are gonna get banged on, you're gonna get shot on from super far away, and you're not gonna be able to do anything with that. And that's why I got two of them. I got I got Griezmann, who's also a rat, and I got a uh, Hyung Ming Sun right there. And I think both of them together play amazing. Sun at striker, Griezmann at cam. Now that, that that's just one of the play styles. Another play style that is just broken. That you, if you don't have this on your team, you're gonna lose. If you do not have the the block play style, especially the block plus, you're just gonna lose. So Araujo has it, and he's amazing. He blocks everything. Anticipates amazing as well. You know, Van Dyke does not have it plus, but he's got the aerial threat which is also really good because he wins every header and there's broken corner tactics that he just wins every header. I think he's got a few goals for me. Yeah. 243 games, three goals. Some of those goals have been big. Uh, and he also has a block play style. You know, he also has a block play style. If you take a look at other cards like this, like Rudiger right here, he also has a block pay play style. He's very, very good. Militao, same thing right here. Block play style. He's just amazing. But then you look at other cards, you look at other center backs in the game. This Blanc is really good. He's got the Anticipate Plus. He gets he, he times tackles amazingly. It's really good, you know, but he doesn't have that block play style. He has a huge body, but he's just not there blocking shots. I don't know if that makes any sense. You have to try it to believe it. Like, let me go to some center backs I have. Uh, I had Vardy on here as well. 
he was amazing. He was like a 2K card, and he was amazing. Kimpembe, block style plus, amazing. Uh, you look at Joe Gomez, block style, amazing. I'm trying to look at other cards, but I really don't have any other ones. Like, Laporte doesn't have it, but let's say Laporte had like 80 pace, for example, and he didn't have any play styles like this. That card is unplayable. You, you just can't play with it. It's just, uh, it just doesn't make sense. <sighs> now, moving on. Pace has never been more important. Actually, it has been more important. It's been important in FIFA 15, uh, other FIFAs like that. But this early on, I feel like if you're playing with, especially in the midfield, if you're playing with slow players like a Fabinho, like a Tony Cruz, like a, a Verratti, uh, a Paul Scholes, something like that, even uh, I have some center mids here that I, I you could you could find that wouldn't be good. Like if you're playing with like a Chuameni, even though he's okay, he's very, very slow. You know, if you're playing with players under like 75 pace in the midfield, you're going to get, dude, you're not going to catch up to anyone. You're not going to catch up to anyone. And that's just where I say like this FIFA, you have to have those players or you're going to lose. Like you're literally going to lose because fast past FIFA, as you guys know, FIFA, uh, I think it was FIFA 20 when that gold Rashford was in the game. If that if someone had a gold Rashford or a gold Warner from Chelsea, dude they weren't even meta they were just good they were broken cards they were fun to use you know uh the past inform lozanos you know those cards were amazing they would shred people the musas the dumbias they weren't meta but they were still cards that would surprisingly play really really good in the game like for example this card in fifa like 15 maybe fifa fifa 17 or something like that this card would be really really good because he's 9-1 pace, 78 shooting, eight, uh, 86 dribbling, 6 foot 2 with 4 star, 4 star. And he's got great agility balance. You know, he's got some okay play styles. I mean, those don't really matter because we didn't have play styles back then. We had traits. But um, yeah, you know, a card like this would have been really, really good early on. Now this guy can't even turn. This guy can't shoot. This guy can't dribble. He can't complete a pass. And it's just unplayable. Like, you cannot put a guy like, say you're a beginner in FIFA. And you're, you want to play foot champs. You go into a game. You can't you can't use this guy. You just can't use this guy because he's not up to that level. He doesn't have the required stuff to play the game. Now, this guy really early on for Antwerp was great for me. But as time went on and people caught on how to defend, he's useless because why? He has no play styles. He doesn't have the finesse shot. He doesn't have a power shot. He doesn't have a technical drip or he does have technical. He doesn't have a rapid quick step. He doesn't have Travella, Flair, Tricks or none of that. He has none of that. And that's kind of my fault for messing up. And I got lucky, made up for it with uh, this Ansu because the Travella is actually pretty good. Uh, and he's got rapid and quick set play style. I, at least I got saved on that. But, you know, the, it, the, the play styles make cards that shouldn't be that insane into insane cards. Like we saw that Kimpembe. Kimpembe, for example, has always been good in FIFA. But this year, his card really doesn't look that insane. You know, 79 pace. His passing is mediocre. 81 defending for a center back is horrible. 86 physical not that good but with the play style plus and the play styles that he does have he he turns into a beast and it's just something that like it doesn't make me mad i just wanted to talk about it. i want to see what you guys thought about it what your initial what your thoughts are on it because we're almost we're like one month into the game and i have i've had i've heard a lot of mixed reviews on it um but yeah it's just it just feels like if you you do not use a player with finesse shot plus or block you are at a disadvantage already you're at a disadvantage what if you wanted to build a whole like a whole chelsea team right you're a chelsea fan and you want to bring it into foot champs you go to center backs you know tiago silva okay he does have block but you want to use someone better like say fofana you want to evo him he doesn't have the block you want to use body all right he does have a block but like you know what i mean like it's it's really at a disadvantage and then you take a look at cards like um the higher end cards you know like the mbappes of the world like you're never gonna afford this guy maybe like in team of the year you get lucky you're gonna pack this guy but three mil dude three million coins for mbappe probably the best gold card we've ever seen in any fifa ever i am saying that because he fits the meta amazingly he doesn't have the finesse shot plus but no one could catch him and he's got the travella no one could catch him and it's just something that's like you got to think about where we're heading is the gameplay would you prefer realistic gameplay or fun gameplay? And where I put my say in is in fun gameplay. I don't care. Like FIFA 19, for as much as we rage on that game, as much as we got mad and yelled and broke stuff 
that game was fun. You can't, you can't, you can admit that. This game, I'm just sitting like this every game. Every game, just locked in. And if I make one mistake, I'm gonna lose because Sun or, or Griezmann is gonna finesse it from super far away. And you gotta play with them to win. It's it's like, it's just like a meta fest. It's a meta fest. And and don't even get me started on the tactics. You go to custom tactics. You gotta you gotta I, you gotta play this or you're gonna lose. You gotta play 71 death or you're gonna lose because you know every FIFA I've always played 100 depth. So this isn't really new to me. I've always played 100 depth. Just because I already knew that they do an offside trap by themselves. I don't know if people are just finding that out. They're saying that you got to do this. It does offside traps by itself. Offside traps have always been in the game when you have um, more than like 70 depth. Because I've always played 100 depth. And they've always done offside traps. They always run out. They always try to get people offside. And it's just something that, you know, if you, if you don't have it, you're going to lose. And it, it's crazy to see. But. I don't know. I just want to hear your thoughts on that. I'm going to be making more videos like this, uploading more videos like this, talking about stuff that comes out in the game. Um, and if you guys enjoy it, leave a like, comment down below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 24 EEFC content. I'm going to go ahead and complete some packs and uh, you guys can see the pack opening. Thank you guys for watching and peace. I opened the packs and I got nothing. Thanks.